raise your drinks up casually. Raise your drinks, raise your drinks up, raise your drinks up casually. It's the Black Bourbon Family. Hey everyone, I'm Jason. And I'm Brandy. And we're the Black, Black Bourbon, Bourbon Family. Family. Welcome back everyone. I hope you have had a great day so far. Mm-hmm. And ready to, uh, you know, learn a little bit about Booker's Bardstown Bourbon. Booker's Bardstown Bourbon. So this is the third release of 2021 for Booker's Bourbon. This one, Bardstown Bourbon, is... What? I, I'm just shaking my head and... Oh, go ahead. Continue on. All about how good it is. <laughs> I'm like, what happened? <laughs> you spoiled the surprise. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh huh. All right. So this is a hundred and twenty-five point five proof. It is age stated at six years, five months, <laughs> uncut, unfiltered. Made at the Jim Beam Distillery. And specifically, uh, what they try to do is commemorate a special time in their lives. And this one was specifically uh, honoring the home place of Booker No and several generations of the Beam family. And so, Jim Beam has several products including this one uh bookers it comes in it varies from 70 dollars to 90 dollars we actually were fortunate enough to get it for around 70 dollars see mm -hmm. brandy said get us under this hundred dollar mark jason uh and I, I mean i haven't been able to make a mixed drink in like yeah, that's true. In a long time, just because, you know, it's a certain price point. I, you know, I'm not be mixing $150 <laughs> bourbons. I, you know, it's just, yeah. it just doesn't feel right. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. But this one is under. So, it always comes in. And Brandy, show the folks the fancy box that this comes in. Isn't this nice? I mean... Okay. Very nice. This was our impression guess for the five uh, bourbon video that we did a while ago. Yes. Mm-hmm. Got the... Who is this on the back? Booker No on the back sitting in a chair. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mm-hmm. There you go. But, yes. Very fancy. Very fancy. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice presentation. <laughs> All right. So, and then what they also do is they provide a small little card in here that provides uh, a little bit more detail about what this batch represents, the batch's story. It also talks about the master distiller notes where the specific bourbon was held within the uh, various rick houses. So, something that if you get it, take a look at it, read through it. Check it out. All right. On to let's. Oh, the smelling first. <laughs> I was about to say the tasting, but uh, we gotta smell first. Nancy, <laughs> Nancy Fraley, you taught her how to smell it, and she still don't want to smell. <laughs> she was about to agitate it. I sure was. Mm hmm. Shake it, swirl shake it. it around a little bit. What you getting? I'm getting some spice because it's, it's hitting my nose. Yeah, there is some spice in this one. And it might be because it's that 125.5 proof. Mm-hmm. It's, um, I get some, a little sweet notes in it. Like some brown sugar notes. I mean, I can tell it's going to be a, a sweet. Um, I mean, we obviously have tasted it. <laughs> uh, but... But yeah, it definitely has like some cinnamon, like or some pepper or mm -hmm. something like that in mm -hmm. it because, yeah, like I said, it's 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 definitely hitting hitting my nose. But yeah, it's, yeah, it has that Jim Jim Beam nuttiness to it that I can smell it a little bit. 
almost like a walnut or a peanut. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> Got some nice legs on it, huh? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell at all, but but a beautiful color too. Mm-hmm. They're like, all right, how does it taste? So before. 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 Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, turn on your notifications and follow us on Instagram. We post every time that we're about to release a video. So just in case YouTube doesn't notify you, Instagram will. All right. All right. All right. Oh, on to it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. You want to start off? Man. Okay, so it does have a spiciness to it, <laughs> but it's just like really, it's it's rich. Mm -hmm. It's um got that sweetness, um some some brown sugar. I'm tasting. Um, it's it's good. I when Jason first poured me the first pour a couple days ago, I was like, what is that? <laughs> and it's it's good. I like it. Yeah. And what else you get? I got a little bit of same things that you said. Uh, I got a little bit of nuttiness to it as well. That same peanut, like a walnut that I was smelling. I could taste mm. that in there as well. I got that spice that you were talking about. Yeah. I'm not going to repeat them all. Caramel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good. Very it's a, good. This is a good one. I really like it. Yeah. No, this is good. This is our second um, bottle of Booker's. We had the Beaten Biscuits. That was a 2019. We hadn't even started the channel at that point. Okay. We just had that one. Um, but no, this, very good. Would highly recommend. And so, for my cigar smokers, I forgot to say that I was going to give a cigar pairing. I don't have the cigar with me because I smoked it with this. <laughs> But I will tell you what it is, and I will provide a picture, because I took a picture right before I smoked it, just in case it was a good one. And so it was. <laughs> it was the Don Carlos Eye of the Shark. This is a, a Fuente cigar. It's a shark shape, so the uh, Fuente sharks have a different little shape to them. It's a Dominican cigar with that same nuttiness that the Booker's brings. And so I was like, hey, let me check it out. It was my last one, but I wanted to smoke it before I told you if it was a good pairing or not. And Don Carlos, uh, the Fuente Don Carlos, they have a lot of different types of cigars. So the Eye of the Shark is a little bit harder to find, but they have some other cigars that I would definitely say would also be a good pairing for the Booker's Bardstown. Good stuff. It is very good. I was wondering because I was like, there's no cigar over there. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing a cigar pairing this time. Right. Should have known he smoked it already. I got it. <laughs> got it covered. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Well, we thank you all for joining us today. This one is a, a, a latest release, so you may be able to find it um, in one of your local stores. If you can, would highly recommend it. Pick it up. And again, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications. Follow us on Instagram. And we'll see you next time. Peace.